Room. We have a treatment room which I mainly use to fix up Christoph and some of our friends. Now I'm going to show you our room and our office space. This is our walk-in closet slash office space. This is our master bedroom with the view of the pool and the garden. This is our master bathroom with a double shower. So we can both shower after the kite sessions together. Okay, let's go outside and do this. The first question that you guys ask is what got you into flying? Well, actually I was working as a flight attendant for many years, but I never thought about becoming a pilot myself. And Christoph was flying paraglider those days, but I, sh I had no interest in flying paragliders. But then one day he came back home and he showed me a YouTube video of a guy um, in Spanish Fork, Utah. Mike Burton flying his gyroplane and Christoph asked me if I wanted to fly gyroplanes which I really wanted to try. The question is, which airplane did you start flying? As I said before, we started flying with the gyro plane. After that, we went to ultralight fixed wing planes, then certified fixed wing planes. Then we started flying ultralight helicopter and we decided to do the um, certified helicopter license. Why did you decide to buy a Bristol? Actually, we wanted to buy a shark first, and then we wanted to buy a black queen. But with both companies, we made some bad experiences, and we had to involve lawyers to get a part of our money back. We still didn't get everything back, therefore we turned to Bristol. Bristol convinced us because they have a very professional production line, it's a family-owned business, and of course the product itself is also fantastic. Very nice manufactured and we do have a lot of cabin space as well as luggage space. We even do have a customized luggage space that we can bring our kite gear along. And we do have some lockers in the wings, which is also great. Then with the 915, we have plenty of power to fly in the Swiss mountains. So everything fits our needs. What pilot licenses and ratings do you have? As ultralight licenses are nationally regulated, we do have a couple of ultralight licenses in Euro. We have one for Slovakia, we have one for Germany, we do have one for France, and we do have an Italian ultralight license for helicopters. Then we do have FAA um, PPL license for fixed wing planes and FAA PPL license for rotorcraft helicopter. And we also have the EASA fixed wing plane um, pilot license and the EASA helicopter PPL. Have you seen anything in the sky while flying that you can't explain? No, I have never seen anything in the sky that I cannot explain, but Christoph had his encounter with, with a new folk when he was driving his car. 
So hopefully one day they come and visit me too. Fixed wind instrument rating. No, I do not have my fixed wing instrument rating now, but we've been in the United States last year and we did six weeks of instrument training. We completed part one and part two. All that is left to do is part three, which is the cross-country flying and our skill the road tuck seems to run somewhat lean, or is it desired in aviation? Actually, the road tax engine is fully automated and the ECU, the engine controlling unit, controls the mixture of the engine. So what is your favorite aircraft to fly and when, was one of the questions. Do you prefer fixed wing or rotary wing? And which do you find to be more rewarding, fun to fly with and why? So I can tell you that any of these aircraft types have something rewarding, like when you're flying in a fixed wing plane and you get a clearance from uh, the ATC that you did not expect, like they allow you to fly over the city center of Munich, everything is set perfectly and you can fly over Munich and enjoy the beautiful views of the city, that's very rewarding. But then also, if you can fly with an open gyroplane in Costa Rica that feels like a motorbike in the air and you see all the super nice sceneries and waterfalls, that is also a very rewarding experience. And then with the helicopter, we have the opportunity to land on mountain tops and be in the Swiss mountains where you cannot land with a regular plane and uh, you set up everything perfectly to do a nice landing on a snow-covered mountaintop that's also very rewarding. So I cannot say one is more rewarding than the other because all of them can be very rewarding. have uh, scary experiences. The only one that we had was our tire explosion, but that you can look up under my YouTube videos. We actually just remember we did have a scary experience, not that something happened or uh, we did anything wrong, but we wanted to fly from Czech Line to St. Augustine and we just took off and this huge thunderstorm came in with intense lightning and everything, so we decided go back to Jekyll Island right after our takeoff and land safely there again. decision we waited until midnight until the most severe thunderstorms and rains were over and then we continued our journey airplanes and helicopters do you own actually we were very lucky we always rented either from the flight school or we had some friends that had a gyro plane or a plane or whatever that they did not need at the time and they asked us if we would like to charter it so we were, most of the time, we were flying with other people's aircrafts, gyroplanes and helicopters. Then we bought ourselves an ultralight helicopter, but that one is already sold and the new owner is very happy about that so far. And now we do have our ultralight plane, the Bristol. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> What do you do to stay fit? Do you have any special eating habits or workouts? Well, to stay fit we have a quite active lifestyle with the kite surfing, snowboarding, snow kiting, hydrofoiling, we snorkel, swim, dive, wakeboard when there is no wind, we have mountain bike, so we do mountain bike. That's basically what we do in our spare time if we are not flying but I do not go to the gym 
and I'm very bad with keeping up a routine of doing exercises at home. Eating habits, we do intermittent fasting and usually we eat only once or sometimes twice a day depending on how hungry we are and how much sport we did on that day and we do keto diets so we don't eat any carbs no rice no pasta no breads and no sugar and we don't drink alcohol only very very of course rare. we do cheat days on the weekends which is important because you have to enjoy life and enjoy eating and food but that doesn't mean that i'm not having a good time during the week when i'm only eating one meal a day because i really feel that it is good for me and my body feels how great. do you finance such a wonderful lifestyle do you have your own business I actually do have my own business. I am an osteopath and my job is very rewarding because I can help people, which is really nice if you can do a job like that. And um, I also do administrative stuff for other people like organizing paperwork for them, doing phone calls, online meetings, organizing travel travels booking their trips, hotels and stuff like that, but I have kind of like an, a mobile office so I can work from wherever I am and when I'm back home in Switzerland I work as an osteopath in my own clinic. Christoph was also very lucky in his life and also he can work from wherever we are when he has his computer and his phone with him and we are super blessed and lucky that we can have a lifestyle like that and we appreciate it every day. Are you married? No, I am not married. I'm in a very happy relationship with Christoph for over 20 years. And the most important thing in a relationship is to feed that fire. Because if you don't feed that fire anymore, it's going to die. And that doesn't matter if you are married or not. So guys, keep feeding that fire in your relationship. So the last question is, will we be seeing more of you this year? And please start the Patreon site. I am planning and I promise I will do my best to give you more videos this year. I'm planning to do one video per month and I do not have Patreon and I'm not going on Patreon because as I told you I have my work uh, in another field and I cannot commit to doing um, so many videos that I can have a Patreon account. And I'm just doing this to share all my experiences and adventures with you guys. So, but I'm trying my best to do more of it. So that was it for the Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we're going to join our friends for a kite surfing session. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Super good! Super good! Nice to see! So, we're gonna jump and uh, see how it goes! <laughs> hey, nice work! <laughs>